Well, I personally was very excited. I think it's a tremendous opportunity to see three great companies come together and focus on a sector that clearly is ripe for disruption. Mm -hmm. So when you read the, the announcement, it says they're going to focus on technology as Bertha highlighted. I mean, when I read it originally, I think, oh, it seems natural that maybe they would self-insure. they got a million employees, so they'd have scale. Uh, additionally, with Amazon and its distribution strength, maybe they're going to be a, a PBM or work on drug distribution. But it, it doesn't sound like that. David Faber says that his reporting doesn't indicate that. What do you think these guys are actually going to do? Well, I think the first I would say is that I don't think anyone knows outside of those organizations. But I think clearly they have great capability in the consumer space. And if there's one area that consumers really need assistance in, it's in simplicity. Also, they have the employer work site. So they have an opportunity to apply the technology, the data, the analytics to the consumer experience using the worksite as a means of amplification. Well, I'll say this, uh, Mr. Williams, there is nothing, zero, nothing in the way healthcare is delivered today and paid for today and billed back to the consumer today that is anything approaching simple. It, it is ununderstandable, and that is one of the areas that I hope that this initiative will, will, will address. We're seeing a big sell-off in health insurance stocks today and a lesser sell-off in some of the pharmacy benefit management companies. Why do you think that is? And is the entire health care business afraid of the big bad wolf Amazon? Is that what, why they're off so much today? Well, let, let me first say I would agree with you that no one would design a health care system that works the way our health care system <laughs> works. Our system has evolved, and it clearly is not simplistic. And there is an opportunity to improve the fundamental customer service interaction and really get the patient involved in health care. In regards to your question about health insurers, I don't see this as a significant issue to well-run, consumer-focused health insurance companies. Now, there's a bell-shaped curve like there is in all industries. And I think the smart companies who are really working to serve the consumer and figure out how to transform themselves from a business-to-business -business capability to a business-to-consumer interaction will look at this as an opportunity both to collaborate and an opportunity to learn. Technology is what they're going to focus on when it comes to lowering their costs. Is that enough, Ron, or doesn't the whole incentive structure need to change the whole third party payer system which means that i actually never get to see the price in advance can't choose what i want to do i mean there's a lot more here than just i don't know improving technology isn't there certainly and i think one of the things that really is at the center of our healthcare system is the primary care physician and one of the trends you've heard talked about is value based care which is really giving the physician the primary care physician the financial resources to really manage the patient population as opposed to being paid on a piecework or a per activity basis. So I think there's a huge opportunity to get the primary care physicians engaged and have them really manage the overall health so, of the so population. So why hasn't the health insurance industry already done that? I mean, are you expecting that these three organizations and large corporations can somehow achieve that? No, I think I've, the last five years I've spent looking at innovation in my private equity role in numerous aspects of healthcare, and there's enormous innovation going on. One of the real benefits of the ACA was really legitimizing the transformation of the healthcare system. This is one of many initiatives led by three enormously successful and talented companies, but they're joining a chorus of companies who are really trying to transform the healthcare system. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.